A warm welcome. Blue is the colour. Football is the game, as the old song used to go. We're here at Stamford Bridge tonight in West London. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is Chelsea taking on Sevilla. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. This is how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa stands between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And in attack, it's the very pacey Timo Werner. Up for Sevilla. Getting the nod in goal is Tomas Vatslik. Sergi Gomez plays with Diego Carlos in central defense. Lucas Ocampos plays with Suso in the wide positions. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Werner. The ball with Marcos Alonso. Mount. Timo Werner. Marcos Alonso. On to Werner. Moving the ball effectively. Look at Timo Werner. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him, gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. The opening goal of the game, then. Diego Carlos. Here's Marcos Acuna. Torres, Luke de Jong, looking over the top towards Suso. Real danger. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. And firing it into the area and heading it just over the bar. Yeah, he thinks he's in, he thinks he's scored, and it's just over the bar.
Havertz. On to Jorginho. N'Golo Conte. Well, possession seeded. Rakitic looking very enterprising. Options around him. Rakitic. It's Torres now. Opportunity here. He cuts it back. Is it going to be? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Ivan Rakitic. Looks promising this. Here's Rakitic. And a good-looking ball. Playing with purpose and control. Marcos Alonso. Will he play it in? Jorginho. Real defensive commitment there. Jesus Navas. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Marcos Alonso. On to Jorginho. N'Golo Conte. Couldn't keep it. Fernando. It's Torres now. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Navas. This looks promising. And here's Navas. An attack full of promise. Off the post and back in play. Well, I can't believe they're not level. How close can you get without the ball going in the net? Lost possession. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Jorginho, Werner, N'Golo Conte, now what can they do from here, showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up, the cross is on, Havertz, and return to Havertz, to get tighter and the counter looks on here options available good looking pass chances on Fernando The attack promising as it was, scuppered there. Marcos Alonso. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. On to Werner. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage, match day one contest commences. Fernando. Rakitic on the ball. 
Marcos Acuna. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Oh, that's a fine pass. Ivan Rakitic. On to Ocampos. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Interception to snuff out the danger. Kai Havertz. Aspili Quetta. Jorginho. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Werner. Now can they make something happen? Kai Havertz. And a tidy tackle. So a throw in to Chelsea. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Mount. Mateo Kovacic. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. And Golo Conte. Well, he could run onto it here. And Spiliqueta. Now Conte. He's got to score! Can he put it in? Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. Marcos Acuna. Diego Carlos. Suso. They couldn't maintain possession. Kai Havertz. Here is Zuma. Christensen. Timo Werner. And Kai Havertz. And Chelsea struggling to keep the ball. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Fernando. Jesus Navas now. Suso with it. And this is Navas. Running with the ball confidently. Navas. Fernando. And this is Navas. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Luke de Jong. And given away. Mount. Dangerous ball. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. So a personnel change then. And firing it into the area. Well, just listen to these Chelsea fans. The crowd very much behind the team. It's been a tough game, but not long to go now to see this out. Marcos Alonso. Mount. 
Havertz. Lost possession. Diego Carlos. Rakitic on the ball. So a throw in here. And they will make the change now. Aspili Quetta. Hudson Odoi. Conte now. Well, great read there to intercept. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Ivan Rakitic. Really nice ball. Marcos Acuna. And that is full time, really the worst possible start, you've got to say. That's the last thing you need. Start of the qualifying stages. You don't need a zero point, Sally. You almost need memory loss now to forget about that. Down to five games to qualify. Well, he is a player with the capacity to enthrall Timo Werner. Lee, let's get your assessment as regards his performance in this game. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.